Okay, ladies, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> first things first, I had to fix my makeup because I did cry earlier. Oh, you did? I did. I did. Oh, because I'm going to tell you. a little softy inside. Yes, yeah, I am. <laughs> a little, a little. Yes, I am. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. The reason why is because, one, it was so deserving. Mm -hmm. And because of where we come from. Mm -hmm. You know, to be able, because you know, how many times have we walked Hollywood Boulevard? Right. And you've walked it and you've seen the stars and you can relate to seeing people that you know. Mm -hmm. But when you think about people that really came in the door mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. it's totally different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, going from, from the from the showstoppers and, and being salt and pepper and then seeing you go everywhere and seeing you do everything. Like I vicariously lived through you when I stopped doing everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like you still took that push, that everything, like every time your successes I felt were always my successes. Um, yeah. Your awards were my awards. And I'm sitting there saying to myself, like, wow, look what my sisters have done. Wow. So ladies, again, I just mm. need to give you a personal congratulations thank and everything. You. Like, you, you know, everything and then some. So now that we got yeah. our... And, now thank, that, yeah. and thank you for showing up the way you did. Your speech was so uh, on point, Yeah. Right? Oh my gosh, it yes. Was <laughs> like, it was really so powerful and so thank on point. You. And just to also give you your flowers as well. Me and Pep, you are you are our example, really, because when you answered um, UTFO, mm -hmm. you know, we was like, okay, that's how you get your foot in the door. You, you know mean? what I mean? So that's when we did the showstopper mm -hmm. to answer Slick Rick and Dougie Fresh, because as a woman, they ain't just going to accept you. You got to make some noise, and you did that for us. So thank you, Queen. Because oh, I wanted to say, while she's with that, can you for a second? We gonna go to us because uh -huh. it's, it's funny because yes, you did do you know do that. So, but when it was time for us, and then when I'm people, it's Herbie when you know he put together and wrote the song, you know, sh Showstopper, and it was an answer to Ducky Fresh and Slick Rick the show. But we was like, wait a minute, <laughs> who gonna say these rhymes about uh -huh. Ducky Fresh and Slick Rick? You know, exactly. at the time, the heart, and Herbie was like, y'all, and it was that because you was doing it all, you know. Speaking that and just saying, just being people, a, a battle rapper being, from the right, street and all of that. Street. And yeah. then it was like, we taking on Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick. And we was like, okay. And we did. <laughs> Let's stop and the show. We did it. Please, Let's please, please, please stop the show. And we did it. And we <laughs> please, did it. Please, please, <laughs> please. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. See, and that's another thing, too. Being able to appreciate, you know, it's very few people that we surround ourselves with now that we knew before we had children. Mm. You know, see, that our life mm -hmm. before we had children, especially in the industry, was a very short period of time. So those that you knew before then, those that got a chance to see you when you were still able to have fun, mm -hmm. when the responsibilities weren't about oh, everybody and family that, and this cool. and everything else. This was about being able to run around and have a good time and doing shows and, and performances and keeping everything together. One of the things that I don't think you give yourselves enough credit for, and if not, I'm about to give it to you here and now, okay? One of the things that you have always never been given enough credit for was one, business smarts, branding. Mm. Okay. Once a motherfucker has a hairdo name behind them, mm. Mm. that's it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whenever somebody went to the beauty parlor, you what did you say? You oh yeah, listen, let me get the salt and pepper. Let me get the let me get the pepper joint on the yeah. side. You know what I'm saying? Let me get that. Once you start to do that, then you know that you're more so than it's more than just the music. Yeah. You're embedded in the culture. Yeah. We're talking about outfits. Mm -hmm. We're talking about still today. Yes. Okay. Yeah. These black look. I was thinking about these black leggings. I said, you know, this is really the salt and pepper shit right here. Yes. Okay. Because before that, nobody else and was shake your on. thing to rip the yeah, jeans. That's right. Ooh. Listen, nobody Wait, was thinking. Listen. <laughs> Nobody was thinking about doing that, mm -hmm. you know? Nobody was thinking about that. Nobody was thinking about going and getting a pair of brand new Gap jeans and go ahead and shred them up and then go out there and just shake your thing. Mm. Nobody was thinking about putting on the leather jacket, mm -hmm. having just the leggings mm -hmm. and the boots. Yes, Mainly we, because I couldn't afford the motherfucking leather pants to go in the middle. So I was so glad y'all came out with this. I was like, okay, good. I can get the jacket as long as I got some tights. I can throw me on some I boots. I sure was trying to find one today because I couldn't find... I, I really you were? I was. Did you have a one piece? Like, I, that'd be good. Oh, black. I have one. I have a, like, black. Like, bandage, yeah, bandage, black. Bandage, black. I, wanted, I got I a red like one, a leather one up, I wanted to up it. See? To we upgrade all, it we to the leather say, look. There you go. Pepper <laughs> bought fun fashion and femininity to hip-hop. You know, we were just two roundaway girls, actual friends friends, just doing us, being us, like that whole iconic um, look. The hat was from um, a woman from named Mary, Mary in Harlem, a uh, play from Kid and Play, designed the jacket, Dapper Dan constructed the jacket, and girl, we got the boots from, from Favor. Favor. Okay. We was just figuring it out, you know what I mean? But and that's just being authentic and being ourselves, and I think that resonated with everyone, all women, you know? Yes, it did. It did. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, it's probably going to jump 
throw around, but I was just saying oh, how, how that was because we were in the beginning dressing ourselves, going into the avenue. Mm hmm. B I M. Yeah, yeah. Maze. Maze. Oh my, and all of that. And put Shirt, King, <laughs> Shirt Kings. Look, Shirt Kings and Coliseum came, Coliseum. came later on once we started. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, then but we got our silk jackets <laughs> with our names written down on the side of our jackets. Like, just, just doing our hip -hop. own makeup, doing our own mm -hmm. everything, putting everything. it together. Mm -hmm. you know, and see, and that's what it is. That shows just not only the femininity, but the independence of being such great women in this yeah. industry and being able to do stuff. See, nobody knows what it's like when you're on tour and you have to figure out something to wear or you got to try to go into a local mall and everything is not as big as it was. And you girls just came out like, you're listen, this is, you came up with, and this is the perfect way to put it, you came up with the uniform. The uniform, yeah. You came up with the uniform because before you it wasn't. Yeah. Before you it wasn't one. No. Before you, everybody tried to find something different to wear Every time <laughs> they tried to find something new, they tried to see what fit, what didn't fit, no nothing. Mm -hmm. But you ladies came across that motherfucking stage with the uniform, mm -hmm. letting us know like you're listen, this is how it is. It's not about the name brands. You make your name a brand, brand. and then you wear it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I wish the younger I we wish were trying they, to do it, but it wasn't his yeah. time. I wish he would have done it. Done it. We're gonna yeah. get it. <laughs> okay. We're trying to do it. <laughs> a brand, our own yeah. brand. Just recently, recently we got the work. we got the salt and pepper <laughs> logo, kind of mm -hmm. like the way Gucci, Gucci does so we all over to, some yeah. material. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna make some clothes out of it. We was trying to do it for today. But today, but it did. Speaking, okay. speaking to, but, but, speaking to the branding. The, the, okay, but yeah. exactly. Yeah. But see, that's what it is. So automatically, every time we saw you, we anything that you wore automatically became salt and pepper. Yes. From the hairdos, the mm. hair colors. Yes. I remember one time I was like, you know, look, the same color as like, like, like pepper, like, <laughs> like, like pepper. My aunt. Baby, that's honey blonde. That's honey blonde. <laughs> why y'all keep why y'all keep calling it the pepper? That it was like, right. listen, because nobody wore it before she did. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nobody wore it the way she did. So mm -hmm. automatically, we looking for it on the box. Like, find the pepper. <laughs> Let's look for the pepper. You know, and and that's another thing. Like, I just felt like you just didn't give yourselves enough credit, or you didn't understand the power of salt and pepper. I'm sure in certain ways you did, because mm -hmm. when it came to negotiating contracts, you're the first ones who made us as women decide, like, yo, hold up, let's read the fucking contracts. Let's mm. see what this says. Like, mm. like it's got to be more to it than that. So even the, even the ability of being able to educate those and not realizing how far your hand reached. Yeah. Baby, when we knew that Peppa had got that near mansion, baby. Oh, he was like, hold up. With, the, the, with the pool inside. Yeah, with the pool inside. We was like, okay, wait a minute. There, there, there's something going on with these contracts now. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all mother's over here giving us pool memberships. She got some shit in her house. We need to know what's going on here. You know, and again, like I said, all of this came from being able to just watch how your lives start to catapult into where it went. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and still staying who you are. Yeah. Still staying, you know, who you are and, and not changing. And and I love that about you. And I Thank love you. that. And I mean it was written in the stars for us mm. to be together. I mean we're we're like polar opposites, but we work so well together as from our voices from the fact that we started out as friends from working with Herbie like it was kind of ordained mm -hmm. to happen this way and all these years later to still be celebrated by you and our peers people that came before us it's incredible Shyrock wanted to be here today she was so sad she couldn't make it but we appreciate the yeah. reminder of our greatness because you're right. Sometimes <laughs> right. we don't That's really. Right. That's right. But so thank you for reminding us so we could pop our collar today. We you better. You listen, you, know I mean? listen, you better. Rock and Roll better. Hall of Fame next. You better. Uh-huh. And, and honestly. <laughs> She's like, stop <laughs> talking, no, Cheryl. No, no. And let me. <laughs> it's like, yo, for real. It's like um, when you say we don't because it was so challenging for us. Yes, it yes. was. It was very challenging. It's like in the beginning, we are, we were from the streets. I definitely, you know, going to the parks, you know, block parties. watching the block parties. The block, and came then, from where everybody else yeah, came from. And then to get in it, and then was excited, right? Because I didn't think I was gonna, I was, make, I wanted, this was a good joke for my dad because the whole thing I was gonna make him proud. I'm so, so glad you said that about your dad. I, that and was I, great. And I was supposed to be like, I went to be a psychiatrist, but that was the funny part because I, <laughs> I went and then I made, you know, that was, thought I was gonna be, you know, doing nursing and all that stuff. But, to, but I'm gonna tell you, and if no one else tells you, let me just tell you, he is proud and he is yeah. smiling today. 
He is smiling with your whole entire speech. He is smiling <laughs> with the fact that you was not going to let us forget, that you was going <laughs> to let us know that you did everything that you did in order to make him proud. Like, we do a lot of things for our children. We do some you things. You know that, right? We do some things for our husbands. We do some things for our families. But there's always that one person that we always want to prove ourselves to. Mm. And that is the reason why the whole time when you were up there speaking, now, mind you, I grew up without a dad. So I don't really know the daughter-dad dynamics. I can only assume what it is. Mm. But I know what it is to want to make sure that that one person that you can actually sit back and say, you know what? Look, I did this. And it wasn't temporary. Because see, a star is not temporary. <sighs> when we're gone, that's still going to be there. Mm. When people walk past it, people are still going to look. And even if they've never heard your music, somebody's going to stop and say, who's salt and pepper? Somebody's going to look that up. Because now, you're more than just etched in stone. That's a forever brand. And yeah. not everybody's going to get that. Yeah. Not everybody deserves that. Yeah. You know? So for you breaking down those doors and those rough days when it was hard and them times when that microphone fucks up on stage, mm -hmm. baby, all of that was earned for that. Yeah. And, Please believe it. And yeah. for, for a time, <clears throat> at one point when this is what was even more daring and for us to take this chance, and it, it, it pulled off very well, but it was the Grammys time because Saul and Pepper, we, okay, we up there, and you know, we will spend it, but we're, people are winning and being acknowledged, but not televised for rap, especially for women. Mm -hmm. at, no rap at the time. That's right. And that's when Will, you know, we all took a chance and, and boycotted um, and the boy Grammys. And boycotted. Mm -hmm. Now that, for okay. women, we wanted to make a stand to be seen, but that was a chance that we took to say, that's oh, right. that's y'all right. about to be out of here. Y'all yeah. trying to get it in, mm -hmm. make a ruckus? <laughs> okay. And it was very delicate rap. Yes. yes. It wasn't going to last. Would, would it last? Yeah. We wasn't sure about it. It had an like, expiration date, you? like milk. Yeah, they how said, dare you? how long is it going to last? Right. That was the question. That they was asked the us question. All the time. But that's a good point. The how boycott dare, yeah. was such an important thing. They weren't showing rap um, categories, but they were nominating us. So it was Public Enemy, Salt and Pepper, Will Smith. Was it was a kid in play? A few of us. We I did a press conference. That Not that time. Yeah. Okay, so it was a few of us on the rooftop <laughs> um, doing a press conference, and um, we boycotted the Grammys. I want to say maybe a year or two later, they added the category, and it was such a, a ridiculous thing because they would put us, us they together. Had the they would put us together. Like one time we was nominated with Gladys Knight. They didn't accept the rap as it's What? Own. The Midnight yes. Train to Georgia? And she won, of course. Okay. Oh, oh, oh but we was like, like, why y'all putting us with Gladys Knight? We can't win mm. against Gladys Knight. Okay, not her in the pips. Today. Yeah, and then another thing, Run DMC with all the hits that they had, they never won a Grammy. I didn't realize that. They just got their Lifetime Achievement Award. Yes. But because of the category wasn't there, that they have never won a Grammy. So but that was for... Uh, they didn't win no Grammy, only their Lifetime Achievement Award because all their hits was before it was a category. So the star for them is for the Rock and Roll. Yes. The oh, rock and roll. Yeah, they're they in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Thing. But don't worry because right. y'all next. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's, that's right. And everything that you do, you know, I hate to divide up because you're great MCs, you're great performers, and, and I hate to limit it to where people just say, okay, well, we want to keep it in a female aspect and just female, female, woman, woman, woman. You've but always no, you, said but that. You, yeah, but you're great in your own right. Period. There's some men's yeah. shows that can't even stand up to you. Yeah. There's some male groups that mm. have not lasted as long. There's, you know, if you think about it, mm -hmm. you know, the things that you've done, you have not just done them just for women. You've done them for men also, but because they've always categorized everything as women. Like, you are the ones that go out there and open up all of the doors mm -hmm. for everyone. You're the ones with, that with go babies on our hip. Ba baby doing with babies okay. on our hip, yes. girl, on the road and everything. And, but, I, I know, and then people, and then the media and social back then, like, against you. Even though you're doing everything mm -hmm. and crossing all your T's and down line and being great and selling and charting and charting and number one. But then here was media mm -hmm. then. And I have to say, I'm going to say his name now because he admitted, and I think this is a great thing. Um, it was Funk Master Flex was one of the... the People at the time, and I, I'm, I used to watch. I'm like, where's my bomb on here? Where's my bomb? Right. I'm waiting because I, I know I'm so I'm Pepper getting a bomb because mm -hmm. we doing everything. Check, check that that person got bombs. Right. And so, uh -huh. so you that like male rapper got bombs. Mm -hmm. Right. So we getting out. So Pepper never got a bomb. Never. And then so 
and I didn't understand why, and I was like upset and this, but a lot of different things, not just him, but different, mm -hmm. show, shutting us out. You like, always said we wanted out. to be on self destruction. Self -destruct. Shut why you only, why you only okay. ask us to be on self destruction? Why we want? <laughs> so now, and then it was, but he did apologize just now, not too long ago. I seen him. He said I wanted to apologize because I did shit on y'all because mm -hmm. he was writing for the man. You know, yeah, all the time, all the time. The but man. I'm gonna tell you something. Half the motherfuckers that got bombs, and mostly, let me think really hard. None of the motherfuckers that got bombs got a star. Yes, that's why. <laughs> so if, it, if I had to choose between Funkmaster Flex and a motherfucking bomb, baby, give me a star on the Walk of Fame. Because that bomb is forgotten. <laughs> and if you want a bomb, <laughs> there the fuck you go. OK? I, I, but you know what it is? I was happy to hear it. Because yeah. I was like, you need like to wondering. Know. Like, I needed to know. Like, right. I knew we were doing everything. Like, what was up as, with as that? A, as women. And mm -hmm. we was going. Do it as women. Yeah. Not being heard as women. Ain't this right? No, no, no. That's not how it go. You know, just always push to the side. So, and then, then social media, you know, for us, like, not social, but media, that was our time. And then just to understand that he admit that, it made, yeah. it made me feel good. And out Absolutely. the gate, we And he we said, had... if you ever need anything, I got y'all. He you did go. say that. That's what I'm he talking He did about. say that, but it was good Out the know. gate, so I'm Peppa just kind of took off. That's why I always say it was ordained and meant to happen because we had international success from our first album. Yes. We was just two round the way chicks finding ourselves in Germany, Austria, just all having culture shock. Like, whoa, wow, how did this happen? You know? And it's been going ever since. And they called it pop. Mm -hmm. So now we was, I was trying to say up there, it was too many in my head because it's pop. You pop yeah. a sellout, remember? Pop, yeah. pop is Well, me right now, popular. let me tell you something. When it comes to pop, we Everybody. talking about like our hip hop and everything now, but baby, even with the pop, y'all popped it off. Oh, <laughs> y'all made it pop off. Lyrics, okay. bars. <laughs> look, look, look. Bars. that's on the album. We gon' we're not that's working. We gon' bars. Okay, okay. We need to do a song okay, together. Yes. Bars. Look on that album, we doing. Let's we do a song up. together, girl. Okay. Yes. Look, I like where this is going. Yes. I like where this yes. is going. Ooh, that'd be now, hot. Let me ask you, taking the <laughs> taking the risk because you may not you and the reason why I keep saying you may not know is because. I'm giving you your flowers, and I want to make sure that you understand every aspect of it, you know? And um, when you decided to go off in other genres of music, that was a huge gamble. Mm -hmm. When you went out there to shake your thing, mm -hmm. baby, and you hit us with the go-go. Go-go, <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, everybody else was about Chuck. <laughs> I said, oh, Miss, listen, I mean, and, and I love Chuck. Don't get me wrong. Chuck right. Brown started all that and everything right, else. Right, right. But when you came along with that, what was the what was the vision behind that? Like, what made mm -hmm. you say, you know what, we can do this? Even the song with Involve. Mm -hmm. What was what was it that mm -hmm. made Salt and Pepper say, mm -hmm. we can do other genres of yeah. music? What pushed it? Well, for Go Go specifically, traveling to you know Baltimore and D.C. and just hearing Go Go and understanding, like, oh, this is a whole nother genre of music, you know, because every rapper tell you when you perform in D.C. or Baltimore. It's kind of hard if you ain't got no go-go behind you. So it's like, okay, if y'all gonna keep calling us here, we gonna have to drop something, gra snatched up um, EU, mm -hmm. and did the song. Of course, Herbie is the music man. And that was purposely done in order to catch that, um, to catch that area, you know, yes. and get them in our pocket. Ladies, listen, it was an honor for me to be chosen in order to speak. It was an honor for me to get up there, you know. Um, we have so many hip hop sisters, and for you guys to choose me, I just I felt really special about that. I was like literally like, hell yeah, I'm going. Like what? Let me get up here. But I also want to say that I will always celebrate this day as Salt and Pepper Day, and not just in Hollywood. It'll be celebrated wherever I am, you know. And I don't want you to ever, ever, ever think that you don't deserve bombs, that you don't deserve flowers. Because honestly, you've done it and you deserve it all. Thank you, Queen. I love you. Thank you. We love, love you, you too. too. Like, have a nice day. I want to go more. I want to talk to her. Hit my mind. I want to. Oh, I want to. You know, I want to. That was beautiful. Well, let me share you with. I got to share you with the rest of your crowd now. So let me, let me do that.